Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and welcome to my channel. Oh my word, Melly! If you're new to my channel, hi! Thank you for stopping by. Please do check out my previous videos as well by clicking on the link up here. Anyway, today I wanted to do something fun. Wait a minute. Don't I find everything bookish to be fun? <laughs> Anywho, so today I'm going to introduce you to my book jar. What is a book jar? Well, that's what this video is about. So stay tuned and let's find out. If you have watched my previous videos, surely by now you know that I have a ton of books. I mean it, a ton of books to read this year. And I just finished reading Life and Death, Twilight, Reimagine by Stephanie Mayer. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon because my thoughts on Life and Death, Twilight, Reimagined is coming out soon. Now comes this inevitable moment where I have to select what to read next because I just finished the book I was reading, right? And that's like the most hardest decision for me to make because I am excited about all the books on my to be read list and every book sounds interesting and appealing like I just can't decide which book to read next among the hardest decisions we have to take in life for a bookworm this is one of those times trust me i mean it and that's where this handy book jar comes into play well this was not my original idea like i got this tactic from charlotte at wonderfully bookish I have left links to her booktube channel and her book blog in the description box down below. Do check her out if you are interested. Anywho, enough of the suspense. Let me tell you what this book jar is about. That is, if you have not already figured it out. Even if you have figured it out, please watch this video until the end. So, if you see a cookie jar, what do you think is it is like, what do you think it is a jar with cookies in it right so a book jar as the name says it is a jar with books in it <laughs> not that literally you will have names of books in it so i take pieces of paper like this see small pieces of paper like this and I write down all the titles of the standalone books and the series I want to read this year and I will put it in a jar like this so it doesn't need to be colorful paper itself like you can write it on white paper like there is nothing wrong there is nothing saying you have to only write it on colorful paper but hey why not I like to have some color in life so once I finish reading a book, what I will do is I'll just give this a shake, open it and pick one. And whichever book is mentioned on the paper is what I will read next. It makes life so easy, doesn't it? How will I know? This is the first time I'm going to use a book jar. And I almost said cookie jar there. But anyway, this is the first time I'm going to use a book jar to make my life easy so let's see i will be able to actually tell it at the end of the year if this actually made my life easy this year or not so i tweaked this book jar a bit to suit my style so normally people will add all the books they own that they haven't read in this they will write all those titles and they will put it but here I have only added the books and series I want to read this year. If you haven't watched the videos I posted a few weeks back, you should go and check them out so that you will know which uh, books and series I want to read in this year, 2021. Anyway, so 
for series i did not write the individual book titles i just wrote the entire series name so because like i don't want to pick a book randomly and then get caught to reading like the last book of a series or middle of the series or if i read the first book and next i get something else like that's just on me if i'm reading a series like it has to be start to finish or at least in proper order so i tweaked it like that so anytime i draw a paper and it has like a name of a series in it i will have to read all the books of that series so that's more methodical well that is if all the books of that series is released so if i own them but then i have to read all the books i have of that series and if and when i get new books and if i'm excited to read them or if i like want to bypass my reading list for 2021 and i want to read it this year well then i will add that name also into this jar because like when i get new books i'm like more excited to read them like always so like i mentioned before i just finished reading twilight reimagine i couldn't help but doing that action okay like i can't stop myself doing that anyway so now comes this time where i have to select which book i want to read next and like i really can't decide like i tried but i really can't decide so anyway now you and i together are going to find out which book i'm going to read next so let's tackle this tbr pile one book at a time so here goes nothing i hope i select like a book i really love well i love i love all these books but i just hope so here goes okay i'm not going to look at it okay i think i chose one paper let's see the hate you give by angie thomas it's a standalone and like one of the most anticipated reads i had and like if you saw my standalone video you know that like that was the first book on my standalone series as well because that book is so timely and it addresses this black lives matter but this book was like i think released back in 2017 but it got more like a more of a spotlight Uh, in 2020 with all the blm issues so hashtag #blm so well that's going to be my first book i'm reading in 2021 and let's see i hope i enjoyed as much as everyone says it's really good so i hope i enjoyed so yes so the book i selected was the hate you give by angie thomas well now i selected this book so now this chit goes out and i will close my book jar so wasn't that fun i of course definitely had fun if you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming this please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below if you too use a book jar or if you use any other tactics when selecting which book to read next or even if you're going to try this book jar technique out like just let me know let's have a conversation about a book jar like i would never think i would ever say that but like yeah we'll have a conversation about a book jar and i have left my goodreads and instagram handles in the description box down below as well so that you can connect with me and we can start talking about books and so many other things and I hope you enjoyed this video until I see you next time bye stay safe from oh my bird melly